Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 11, the formations of solid. So for this chapter, there are two subtopics. The first one is 11.1, .1, stress and also strain. And we have 11.2, Young's modulus. Okay, so part number one, stress. Stress is a force acting per unit cross sectional area or we can write it as F over A. Okay, where the unit for stress is Newton per meter square or we can use Pascal and it is a scalar quantity meaning that we only need to consider the magnitude. Okay, next one, strain. Strain is the extension per unit length or we can write it as the strain is equals to allocation over original length. So there's no unit for strain and it is also a scalar quantities. Okay, next we are going to refer to this graph. Okay, so in this graph, there are all A, B, C, D, E. Okay, where from A, O, A, B, okay, this is what we call elastic deformation. From C until D, E is plastic deformation. Okay, so let us look at point O until point A first. Okay, point O until point A, we call it as proportional limit where point O to A is follow Hooke's law is applicable, the stress is directly proportional to the strain or we can write it as F equals to negative KE okay, it follow Hooke's law okay, next one is from A okay, next one is A okay, A is actually the elastic limit where there is always the limiting value of the load up to which strain totally disappear on removal of the load Okay, so meaning that if the load is taken away, it will return back to its original length. The material possesses elastic nature and properties till the elastic limit. Okay, up to this point, material obtains its original configurations on removing load. Okay, it will go back to the original length. Okay, next is point B. Point B is what we call a U point, the stress beyond which the material becomes plastic. Meaning that after this point, Okay, if the load at which permanent deformations of the materials start. Okay, so if beyond this point, meaning that your the length will permanently extend it. Okay, so this is what we call the U point. Okay, after that we also have point C. Point C is a adductile point where beyond this point the neck forms where the local cross-sectional area becomes significantly smaller than original. Meaning that, okay, the material acquires plastic nature. Okay, start from point C, it will become plastic deformations where the cross-sectional area becomes smaller than the original. Okay, because it already stretched up. Okay, so this is point C. Okay, next one, we also have point D, what we call this ultimate point. So start from ultimate point, the point at up to which the material can withstand maximum load. Okay. And ultimate strength with the maximum allocation. So this is the maximum allocation. If I say there is a load acting on the string. Okay, so this is large deformation possible before the failure. So this is the maximum allocation it can go. Okay, after point D, we will go to point E, where point E we can also call it as breaking or rupture point. Okay, where this is the point the material will fail or break down. Okay, so C, D, and also E is the plastic deformations. Okay, so this is the graph. Okay, next one we will go to 11.2 Young modulus. Okay, Young modulus is the ratio of, of tensile stress to the tensile strain if the proportional limit has not been exacted. Okay, when Y is greater, the material not easily to be stretched or compressed. Okay, so our Young modulus, we can write as capital Y equals to stress over strain. Okay, or we can write it as frost over area per allocation per original length. Okay, or we can write it as F over A, L over E. Okay, so this is Young modulus equations and the unit here is Newton per meter square or we can use Pascal and it's also a 
scalar quantities. Okay, so remember, Young modulus here is actually, it depends on the materials. Okay, so next we have two graphs here. The first one is the strain energy. The second one is the strain energy per volume. Okay, so if the questions give you force versus extension, area and the graph, uh, area and the graph here is actually work done. Or we can write it as half Fe. Okay, and the gradient here, the gradient here is actually equals to the spring constant where is equal to F over E. Okay, next one, if let's say they give you graph stretch versus string, area under graph stretch versus string is actually the strain energy per volume. Okay, or we can write the equation as half F over A times strain is allocation over original length okay so we know that and here we know that the area times the length actually they give us the volume okay therefore 1 over 2 fe over volume is actually equal to the strain energy per volume okay so that's all for this chapter 11 Okay, let us continue with the next video we will discuss on exercise 1. See you. Bye.